evaluate growth. And this is what we do most of the time, right? This, you know, yeah, we have practice and, and all that stuff, but it's evaluating the growth and, and being honest. Evaluate the progress on how you're, you know, are your strengths becoming stronger and are you starting to turn your weaknesses into strengths? And how do you do that? And every quarterback is different, okay? You know, uh, I don't know, the guy, sidearm quarterback, okay? What's our plan going to be? You got, you know, it's like I told my, starting to work with my eighth grade son now, a little bit more on quarterback. And I told him just yesterday, uh, you know, because he, he, he likes to hold the ball out like this. It's like natural to him. And, and when he holds it out like this, nine times out of ten, it doesn't spiral. Three times out of ten, it'll come out end over end. And as soon as he holds it down like this, it's a tight spiral every single time. But as natural as this, and I told him, I said, it's going to take you 2,000 throws to change that. 2,000 throws. I said, you got 20 days until football starts. Are you willing to put in 100 throws a day and focus just on that? Will you do it? Will you do it? Will you stand next to, because you're going to tell your kid, hey, let's stand next to this, this, uh, this goal post and throw. And he's going to throw 10 balls and feel like he's got it changed, right? You know, in the heat of the moment, you always go back to your natural. And, uh, and, and do what, what comes, you know, what you've done for 13 years or 15 years or whatever it is. So developing that plan, how are you going to change it? Making sure you look at the ankle eye. And uh, I mean, there was times we'd watch film and that's all we'd look at. How's your ankle? What's your ankle look like? And you could tell it, you could see it. Um, but we want to develop a plan to strengthen the weaknesses, but we want to play to his strengths. Okay, so... Knowing what his strengths are, what does he do really well, and then play to him. Tony Romo is probably the greatest example of this. If you watch Tony Romo play football, if you watch it keenly, rarely does Tony throw to receivers that are moving. He likes receivers that are stationary, so they run choice routes. Jason Witten will run a choice route, or he'll run an inside search route, or they run outside hinge routes. If he's throwing to guys moving, it's usually down the field vertical stuff, not really in cuts. He doesn't throw a lot of in cuts, just not what he does. He'll throw some short slot in cut stuff, but it's just not what he does. And he, he plays to his strengths. And uh, I was always a guy that I like to throw guys that are moving. I like to throw to people that are moving and, 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 and things like that. So, uh, but find out what your quarterback does well, emphasize those things.